From World of Concrete 2017 in Las Vegas, folks, I'd like you to meet Gary Ligman, who represents Ligchain International. Welcome aboard. Good morning, Roger. Good to meet you. This is, well, actually, this is our second time around. Okay, uh, we you interviewed me here at the World of Concrete show about five or six years ago. Well, tell me, how's the show going? Uh, the show is spectacular, and every year it's more and more spectacular for us because we keep introducing new Well, that's models. what we were talking about. Gary's company really represents a unique aspect of this industry. Tell us what you bring to bear. Well, uh, we started the company in 2007, and, and those that are familiar with the industry know that at that time there was only two machines uh, that you could buy, and, the, and there was a small two-wheel drive-in the concrete machine, and then there was a large-scale boom machine, a mega machine, a mega screen, and they they went from fifty thousand dollars to three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow! And there was nothing in between. Sure. And that's where Lickshin came in. Okay. And uh, we started to introduce machines at the World of Concrete in 2008. Uh, and every year we've added another, you know, another model or a version of what right, we've done. Right, right. And we just keep adding to the sophistication of those machines and making them more user friendly. Well, tell me now, engineering wise, uh, R&D, that's gotta be a very important aspect for a company of your size, particularly when you're constantly bringing something new to add into the mix. You're absolutely right, Roger. It's uh, uh, it's one of the uh, lines on our income statement that uh, sends <laughs> shivers up my spine. Right. Um, yeah, it, it's never ending. Uh, and the reason it's never ending is because the customers, they, they keep coming to us with ideas or or problems. And they say, you know, we've, we're having a problem doing this. We're having yeah. a problem doing that. Yeah. Can you come up with a solution? Well, that gets us going. Can that's you resolve starting. the issue? Yeah. So well, that starts the R&D cycle. You bring a laser screed into the mix now, and you tell me about some of the things that you're adding to that. Okay. Um, the uh, the first machine that we introduced was purely laser, and that was to do your flat, your grade, and uh, and or slope and dual slope. Sure. And whatever a laser could do, we could follow the laser. But in more recent years, uh, we've really put some high technology systems on the machine. Uh, we're the only company in the world that is offering a satellite controlled GPS really? uh, screed machine. And the advantage of that is you can run all of your dozers and your curvers and, and all types of equipment on a job site simultaneously from one system, including our screen. So from one set of plots, you can operate all these machines off of it like branches from a tree. That's right. When you drive by a huge Amazon site or something right. like that where all the equipment is working, we can work on that Topcon through a GPS millimeter system uh, that they have. And then this year, we're introducing yet another 3D system. It's a robotic control. Oh, robotic control. Yeah. Tell me, give me an idea, and the folks out there, what we're talking about when we're introducing robotics. All right. Um, the, the nice thing about robotic control is it can operate indoors or outdoors. With the satellites, you have to have a clear view of the satellite. So you got to be outdoors. Right, right. But with this system, and it's and it's uh, almost a half the price, but it, it marries one machine to one robot. And it's a radio system that is constantly communicating where the machine is and looking at the, the um, map of the site and determining the elevation of the concrete. And so... So we've got laser, satellite GPS, and robotic LPS so, controls. So gone are the days with the string and the posts and yeah. everything. Yeah, it's, we're, it's all out the window. Yeah, it's like everything else in life. Well, what yeah. happens to the string industry? <laughs> well, you know, they, they go do other things. There's still applications for strings, but uh, it's not necessary with a, with a screen I machine I guess not, anymore. not if you're talking robots and right. satellites. I mean, right. That's pretty interesting. So you're at the show, you're having a good day so far? Uh, we're having a great day, and uh, everybody at the show will tell you when somebody walks in the first hour of the show and hands you a check, it kind of sets that's the even, tone for that's the... That's even a better day. Yeah, it sets <laughs> the tone for the show, so uh, we're having a great show. Well, I sure appreciate you stopping you by, bet. bringing your message and telling yeah. us what's coming up. I'm sure next year you'll probably have something better. Well, I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. have to get back together. Thanks, Roger. You're more than welcome. Gary Ligman from Ligchain. International on World of Concrete 2017.